You know, when you're the new player in any market, you have to have a highly differentiated product. You've got to have a product that has a lot to offer. It has to have performance advantages that translate into revenue for the customer. And you've got to really focus on those customer pain points to develop a solution that is so much better than what's currently available that people are willing to take a risk. The innovation that's occurring in pumps has been largely stagnant for a number of years. So the same technology that we saw 30 years ago is really kind of the workhorse technology that you see in a number of different applications today. Parker, on the other hand, we've got really deep technical expertise in building pumps for a number of highly technical applications. Combined with its world-class manufacturing capability, really allows us to take this pump technology to the next level. When we've spoken with customers about their key issues in oil and gas, a lot of what we hear is failures are typically due to they ran out of pumping fluid and so you'll get pumps that fail because they can't dry run. We've addressed this issue by creating a pump that is continuously dry runnable. This pump is developed so that it's self-priming. It can produce a high level of suction and vacuum and it can be run forward and backwards. The utility of a pump like this is going to be really useful for applications you might have needed two or three different types of pumps to address the same kind of problem. It's cavitation resistant, so it has an impeller to boost the flow. It's got two modes of safety. One is having a bypass valve in the pump that will automatically engage when the temperature of flow rate gets too high. Additionally, there's a thermal protection circuit on the motor as well. So when the temperature flow rates also exceed a certain preset amount, it will shut off power to the motor. Because we can continuously run dry, because we can self-prime, we're trying to address some of the key failure modes that our customers will see on a day-to-day -day basis. So we expect that we'll be able to give them efficiency improvements as well as increase their uptime, which ultimately will translate into revenue to the bottom line. Besides its unique feature, okay, size-wise, if you look at the same size of the pump. Parker's pump is about 80 to 90 percent higher in flow. However, if you're talking about the same just a uh, flow rate, then Parker's pump is 40 to 50 percent lighter in the other pump. If you look at just our competitors Kellogg here, yeah, they limit the pump dry run for 30 seconds for 20 seconds and this pump, this pump we're talking about here, the material selection, the lubrication mechanism, it's all just automatic. We are built in and in the pump design. You don't need to worry about all those. It can dry run continuously.